Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hayden here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. Um, today we're going to be doing a handbag rehab. We're going to be doing it on two um, separate bags and using two different techniques. This is going to be for how to like clean and condition patent leather. So I have this one right here and I also have this one right here. So this one has like a white kind of like mark maybe color transfer down at the bottom and this one has like I have no clue honestly what this is so we're going to take a crack at um, fixing them up and cleaning the bags and seeing how well they do these are both thrifted handbags that I got from the Goodwill I think each of them were about $15 each um, this one is a Michael Kors and the other one is a Burberry um, and if you guys love thrifting videos and thrift hauls and vlogs um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to check out my other videos as well I have them linked in the top right hand corner and down below in the description box and don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook if you would so like to it's Hadrian and just like it's spelled here and don't forget to check out my shop at it's Hadrian.com I'm gonna have these bags for sale um, once we fix them up so I'm very very excited to be doing this here for you guys I've gotten quite a few um, questions about um, how to clean and condition um, pan leather and I have a couple of videos on it but I thought these two bags are perfect for right now and I can show you guys two different techniques that I would use in order to clean and um, like fix up the bag so we're gonna start off with this one first um, now this one has like this weird residue right there I honestly don't know what it is it looks like maybe it was a sticker or something I honestly do not know but I'm trying to zoom in as much as possible so you guys get a good look at it so I don't know what it is um, so I'm gonna use the first thing that I have in my arsenal which I always usually use first which is the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion this is perfect for almost every type of leather with the exception of nubuck suede and untreated leathers um, this is usually one of my first things that I use because it's the less abrasive and it cleans and conditions the bag and it's like awesome. I really, really love it. So I'm going to use this in conjunction with this microfiber cloth. I'm just going to give this a good shake and then I'm just going to apply some onto my cloth and then we're just going to um, put it in like apply it to the bag, kind of go in a circular motion, you know, like wax on, wax off. Um, it is kind of coming off. Um, it's a little bit harder than I thought it might be. It's like giving me a little bit of resistance. Um, so I guess you could really go that route if you wanted and, um, do it that way. Or we'll try this one. Um, we're going to use nail polish remover. Really any nail polish remover will do. You can just use like a cheap nail polish remover and then you'll be good to go whatever is cheapest at this drugstore um, or at like maybe the 99 cent store you can get one for 99 cents doesn't really matter uh, I just wouldn't use like that heavy industrial um, acetone nail polish remover that's like really strong um, it might like eat through your bag or the, like the finish on your bag so honestly like the cheaper ones are better I think just because um, they're not as abrasive as the more um, industrial strength kind of um, nail polish removers and I know they have some of those out there like the ones that they use for like acrylic and stuff so I'm just putting some onto a q-tip and then I'm just gonna apply it again like kinda like how I did with the leather lotion and just go in a circular motion um, on this and see if it'll break down like the glue and I already know that um Oh, this is doing a lot better job. Uh, I already know that it's not. This isn't really going to affect the patent leather too much. Um, so, oh, look at that! It's just like melting away. So we're probably going to have to do this a couple times with the nail polish remover. But look at that! Like this chunk right here is already kind of gone. And I'm just going to keep going at it. I'll probably just need some more nail polish remover. And I always like to use a Q-tip because I the Q-tip is always more precise. Um, and it kind of gives it kind of like a, like something a little bit more like, um, like what's it called? Mm, it gives it something to stick to, I guess. 
which is like the fibers of the cotton swab, which I like. Alright, so that's kind of like how that's working out. I think it's doing a pretty good job. Let me just get off. So that, I guess, is actually the best route, I think, for removing this residue. It's doing a really good job. I think the reason that they priced this bag um, pretty cheap. I know $15 is kind of still expensive for the Goodwill, but for uh, Michael Kors bag at the Goodwill, $15 is actually really cheap, especially at the store that I was at. Normally, they price Michael Kors bag bags anywhere like upwards of $35, $40, $50. Um, and it was probably due to this like spot that it was priced so low. But don't be afraid to do a little handbag rehab of your own um, at home with these bags because... You can save a lot of money, and this bag is actually in, like, pretty good condition, and for the low, low price of $15 and whatever you're going to pay for uh, maybe a dollar's worth of nail polish remover, um, you can get a great bag for an amazing price. So, if you want to just put in a little bit of elbow grease, it's awesome. And the leather conditioner as well, it's not um, very expensive. I think it's about 7 or $8 for a bottle. I'm going to have it linked down in the description box, so check it out if you're interested. It's just a link to um, the store on Amazon that I like to buy it from. Um, I think the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care is really, really good. I know they have um, a couple other products out right now too, and I know... Um, like, certain brands, like Michael Kors or Coach, um, have their own brand of leather conditioners, which are also, like, good as well, but um, I've used a lot of them already, and I find that this one is probably my favorite. And, a, like, a bottle will last a long time. Look at that, it kind of just, like, melts off. Do you see that? It's kind of, like... A little gross to be honest <laughs> but I think it is like it was like some sort of like sticker or something but like even after it melted it off it kind of like congeals and like solidifies again so I feel like I'm gonna have to use a couple q-tips and try to use the q-tips to clean this off but I do want to try one other thing, and this is just this is if you have it because this did work and it is less abrasive. But I do um, want to try one other product. Um, now, <clears throat> this one is really strong, and this is what I use to prep leather when I um, am going to be dyeing a bag or trying to like remove like a really set in stain or something, which this sometimes works for. Um, I kind of want to try this on here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using it unless you've, you've kind of had experience with it before, especially if you're going to be using it for um, cleaning something. And if you have it in, on hand, this isn't really expensive either, just a few dollars. And I'll have it linked down below as well. But this is like the strong stuff. So this would probably be akin to like, um, like a stronger like acetone or something. And let's see how like this just like melts off that residue. And it kind of does the elbow grease. Like, look at that. Do you see how dirty that Q-tip is? It kind of just does all the work for you, honestly. Um, with the nail polish remover, I kind of had to work at it. And this kind of just, like, melts right off. And this doesn't work for every type of um, patent leather. That's why, like, I'm a little wary of using it. Um, cause sometimes it'll melt the patent, especially if, um, you're using it on a, if it's not actually patent leather and it's like a coated canvas, sometimes that will just melt right off. So you have to make sure you know what kind of leather, um, your bag is. Um, try and check inside and see if there's a label because, um, that'll tell you normally, um, maybe like what the, what the bag is made out of. Sometimes it doesn't, though, to be honest. Um, so you kind of just have to be careful 
Though I do know that this is a patent and I have tried this technique on another Michael Kors patent bag so I kind of like already knew that it was going to work. But um, I never like to use the strong stuff unless you really have to. And in this case, this was just like a faster means to an end. Nail polish remover definitely would have worked. You would just had to work a little bit more. So instead of taking like a minute to do it like I did right now, it would probably take you like maybe 5 or 10 minutes. But now... And I always go over with conditioner again because that just brings the moisture back. And even though this is a patent leather, you do always want to condition your bag regardless of what type of leather it is. Because over time, the leather will dry. It's just like your skin. Um, even though this is treated and has kind of like a lacquer shellac finish, um, it still dries out. And that's why bags like patent leather bags will start to crack over time. Um, color transfer and all that not so fun stuff so usually like trying to condition it um definitely will extend the life of your bag it'll help prevent color transfer i'm not saying that it'll never happen when you use it but um it'll help prevent against it and help protect against it so there's that and this also helps shine up your bag really nicely now when you first use this on patent leather it is going to kind of give it like a cloudy look you're um that's totally what you want um, you apply it first all around, let it get, like, it'll get a little cloudy, and then once, um, you let it dry for, like, a couple minutes, just, like, buff it, and then it's gonna shine it up real nicely. Um, so, yeah, now this bag is awesome, it's looking so good, and I'm just applying, um, a little bit of conditioner throughout, just, like, really quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the next handbag. So I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'll come back and then we'll polish it up and I'll show you guys how it looks once it's all done. But this bag is looking beautiful, I think. And look, that spot is totally gone. You never would have known it was there. And I am really over the moon and excited about that. So, um, yeah, there's the bag. Beautiful. Uh, I'm so excited. This bag is, was in such great shape. It was really just that weird spot. So, you know, just a little work on it and that came right out. So, our next bag we have here. Now, this is um, the Burberry. And you can see right here that there is color transfer. It's a little hard to see, I think. There you go. You can see out right there. So, there it is. Um, for this, again, you can use the nail polish remover. That's what I'm going to be using right now. Again, get a little Q-tip. We're going to put it on the end. Now, this is um, not like a, like it didn't, uh, it's like a, not a color transfer. Well, it is kind of like a color transfer, but it's sitting on top of the patent. Um, what happens with, um, some color transfers with patent, the patent leather will actually absorb the color. Like, the shellac will absorb it, and then it'll just sit inside there. So, that's what happens with that. And it's almost impossible sometimes to get that out. It's, sometimes it's possible to lighten it. If you do it fast enough, sometimes you can remove it. But, um, that again is not always the case. So, right here... I'm just using the nail polish remover and it's just coming out really nicely. Now in this case it looks like it was just the paint, like I said, sitting on top of, of the patent. And this is all just coming off beautifully. So I'm excited about that and then I'm just going to wipe it all off using my conditioner and microfiber cloth. So that just came off beautifully. That's another thing too, like those little white marks that you get sometimes on your patent leather bags, you can get those to come off real easily. Now this right here, like this, like the rest of the bag, is a coated canvas. It's just like um, Louis Vuitton. So with coated canvas, again, you definitely I actually think this might also be a coated canvas. Uh, I don't think it's a leather, but um, you can use the rubbing alcohol for both the 
um, patent leather and the uh, coated canvas. So this is like the coated canvas that looks like patent leather. So you can usually check just by like flipping like a corner. You can see whether or not it's actual leather or not. So sometimes you have to be careful though because sometimes there's interfacing underneath the actual leather. So you might think that it is a... Um, it is like a coated canvas or some type of thing like that, but in actuality, it's um, actually leather. You just have to check the layers when you look underneath, so. But there we go. We are all set and all under 16 minutes. I didn't have to stop this video once. And now these bags look fantastic. So there's that one. And there is this one looking beautiful. And let's just kind of like buff it and like show off that intense shine that's gonna get. So pretty, look at that, so shiny. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, Give it a big thumbs up, thumbs up if you um, enjoy the handbag rehab videos. Let me know down below if you have any questions. Um, a lot of you guys message me and DM me, which is perfect. And then um, in some cases, I'll be able to make videos. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell notifications. And um, to be updated when new videos do go up. And... Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Um, I had a blast fixing up these bags and I'm super excited with the way they turned out. And again, these are going to be up for sale in the shop. It's Hadrian.com. If anyone is so interested in either one of these, I'll take photos of them right now and put them up on the site. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. See you guys then. Bye. I just found this Mark by Mark bag. It's actually kind of cute. It's $5.99. Let's see in the crossbody though, but it's okay. We got more Olivia and Joy right here. There's a little fossil, but there's definite color transfer on it. Lots of color transfer. We're just gonna avoid that. Oh, we got a jumper. And, oh, I need one of these little clips for this. Let me look for one. Oh, 